Nerds, welcome back. Congratulations. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Nothing will ever be the same. Nah, I'm just messing around. Let's install Comfy. Perfect. All right, head on over to Comfy Org Downloads. Wait, before we begin, I'll remind you again. Patreon, free, 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 free. Definitive guide, step by step. All the commands you need, all the links you need right there. Go get it, free. While you're there, subscribe. Five bucks a month, just do it. Here we go. Comfy.org slash download. Link in the guide. We have Windows and we have NVIDIA. So we're going to click this one. Wow, shocker. Once that downloads, go ahead and run it. Ooh, fancy. I like the colors, if you can't tell. All right, get started. NVIDIA is already selected here. Here, go ahead and click next. Now, you're going to choose a location to install Comfy. This can literally be anywhere. If you want to keep the default location here underneath your documents under a new folder called Comfy UI, go ahead and click next. I like to have mine in a different location, so I'm going to go ahead and show you that now. Click that folder, put mine under the user directory. I have mine pinned over here on the side, but if you don't see it, you can go to this PC, the C drive, and then users, and then your username will be right there. And this is where I put mine. I have a folder here called local AI, and that's where I put any kind of AI application that I'm going to run on my PC. You can see I have a folder in here called Comfy Desktop that is empty. This is the one that I'm going to choose, but wherever you decide to install it, go ahead and just go to that location and click select folder and next. As you can see, this migration step is optional. If you already have an old Comfy installation like the Windows Portable, you can migrate things from that installation over to this one. But let's be real, your old installation is probably overly bloated anyways, so you might as well start from scratch. I'm starting from scratch, so I have nothing to migrate, I'm going to go ahead and click next. These two settings are also optional and pretty self-explanatory, automatic updates and usage metrics. I'm going to go ahead and leave them both on and click install. This is going to take maybe five minutes. All right, simple enough. Whenever this boots up, you're going to see something that looks like this. You can scroll on the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and just click anywhere on the workflow to drag it around. This is the standard basic workflow for stable diffusion. You can ignore all of this. We're not going to use any of it. When you first install or do updates, you might end up seeing a bubble down here that's going to tell you what's in the latest package. I'm going to go ahead and click that to get rid of it. And the other thing I'm going to do right away is get rid of this mini map down here in the right hand corner. If you're familiar with code editors like VS Code, you know what a mini map is. Basically, if you're zoomed in pretty far on any part of the workflow, this just kind of gives you a high level view of where you are in the workflow. That little rectangle is where we are in this workflow. It just takes up more space on the screen and I don't want it. So I'm going to click this little blue button right here in the bottom right hand corner corner, turn that off. Great. Now I'm going to go up to the top of the screen here where it says manager. I'm going to click that and go to custom nodes manager. As you can see, there are 3,542 custom nodes, node packages, each one with a bunch of different nodes that you can install. Now, all of us, when we first get into Comfy, we go crazy in here, installing a whole bunch of crap we don't need, and you end up with a bloated installation that runs like shit. So secret sauce time. I told you, keep coming back. There's always sauce. I'm going to give you the few packages that you need that are going to make your life better and don't install anything else for now. This is all you need for now. Ready? Here we go. The first one is essential. And guess what? It's called Comfy UI Essentials. Go ahead and start typing the word essential and it's going to pop up right here. Click install and the latest version is fine. Select. And you can see it's doing some stuff in the background here. Whenever you install new custom nodes, you're going to get a notice right here and down here at the bottom that says you need to do a restart. Start. We're going to go ahead and install all the ones that we want and then restart once we have them all. So back to the search bar, you're going to look for Chris Tools, that's C-R-Y-S-T, and it's going to be this first one right here, Comfy UI Chris Tools, install. The latest version again is fine. Great. Back to the search bar, we're going to type KJ Nodes right there. KJ Nodes for Comfy UI, install. Awesome. Back to the search bar and we're going to start typing Video Helper Suite, Video Helper Suite. That's the one right there, install. Mm -hmm latest and finally R G T H R E E you will see right here RG3's comfy UI nodes go ahead and install that great that is all you need do not install anything else for now go ahead and click restart as it's restarting it's going to be installing these nodes awesome it's done and sometimes whenever you're installing new nodes and you do your restart you're going to see a blank screen when it's done just go ahead and close comfy and start it back up and we're back now the last thing we're going to do is jump into our settings up here in the top left hand corner, we're going to click on this C 
and settings. Over on the left, you have different sections for different groups of settings. We're gonna start right here in the comfy section and we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom. It says sort node IDs when saving workflow. I'll explain this later. Don't worry about it for now, just click it. Next, we're gonna click on the light graph section. And right here near the top where it says always snap to grid, we're gonna check that on. And then we're gonna scroll down just a little bit to this section that says link. And we're gonna change that from circle to arrow. And then we're gonna scroll down just a little bit more to where it says uh, node ID badge mode. We're gonna go that and show all. And same thing down here, node source badge mode. We're gonna go ahead and change that to show all as well. Then we're gonna click on appearance. Right up at the top, if you want to choose a different theme, feel free to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna leave mine on dark. You can also put a background image on your canvas. I think that's probably distracting. I'm not doing that, but you can feel free to do that if you want. All right, next we're gonna scroll down to where it says sidebar. We are gonna go ahead and put the sidebar over on the right and we're gonna make it small. All right, and then the last one we need to worry about for now is crystals. Let's go on down to the bottom at crystals here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this pixel width all the way up. And if you watch these meters here at the top, whenever I slide this over, you see they get wider. And then I'm gonna take the pixel height and go all the way down and you see they shrunk down nice and small. Refresh rate just means that these meters are gonna update every half a second. I'm gonna leave that as is. And then we're gonna scroll down to the bottom here where it says show hard disk. We're gonna go ahead and turn that on and then select whichever hard disk you're going to use. I'm gonna use the C drive. That's where I'm gonna be saving all of my models and custom nodes. So I wanna monitor the amount of storage that I'm taking up on that drive. So we'll go ahead and turn that on there. You can see now we have this meter at the top here that shows how much storage is being used up on that disk. Ah, and I almost forgot. There's one more thing I wanna do. Go back up here to comfy and scroll down to the bottom where it says workflow. We're gonna change that from top bar to sidebar. And if you notice, top bar, up here we have this workflow tab. When we change that to sidebar, that now lives over here and that gives us a little bit more real estate at the top of the screen. And that is it. We can go ahead and close out of there. And then the last thing we wanna do is click our manager and we are going to go ahead and click update all custom nodes. Yes, even though we just installed them, go ahead and do an update. Great, you can see it says it's done down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and hit that restart. And that is nearly everything. We are just about ready to get started running these models. Last video, we got the foundational tools to allow us to actually be able to run the models. This video, we got Comfy installed and we got the UI tweaked for ease of use. The next video, we're gonna put some high octane fuel into this bitch and supercharge it for optimal performance. And that video is going to be the secretest of secret sauce so far. I have a 5060 Ti in my system and that might sound new and fancy, but even if you have a 4090 or a 5090, the latest generation models are massive. If you wanna get those top quality results and if you don't wanna wait for days, you're gonna need to tweak your system for optimal performance. And that's what we're gonna do in the next video. So reminder, free guides over on the Patreon. Go ahead and grab them. And while you're there, subscribe. It's five bucks a month. I know you got five bucks a month. But the assets are free, just to be clear. Everything's free over there. Just subscribe to help your boy out. And I'll keep bringing you guys the secret sauce. And last but not least, we got the Discord link in the description. Come join us over there. Bring your questions, comments, concerns, general thoughts about life. Whatever you got, we're here for it. All right, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.